Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chicago Bears and the Cleveland Browns. All that and more coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We count down to kickoff and what should be an epic one here as it'll be the AFC champion Cleveland Browns taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis, uh, CD, all eyes on the AFC champs. A lot of folks out there in Ohio have waited a long time for this night. What a story. The Cleveland Browns, their first Super Bowl appearance ever. It's a franchise and a fan base that's certainly been through a lot. Losing seasons, plenty of drama, a lot of failed expectations. At one point, they were winning plenty of titles in the NFL, but you have to go back to 1964 for their last one pre-Super Bowl era when they beat the Baltimore Colts 27 to nothing. Meanwhile, it has been a roller coaster ride in Chicago the last few years. They've been up, they've been down, they've had double doinks, but now the Bears are back looking for what would be just their second Super Bowl title. Now we do know that the Bears had plenty of success pre-Super Bowl because they won eight NFL titles to be exact. But as you just mentioned, looking for their second Super Bowl win, they did have another appearance in the big game. That was one that they lost to Peyton Manning and the Colts in Super Bowl 41. The win prior, Super Bowl 20, a huge blowout against the Patriots. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And this is the moment the Bears organization dreamt of when they traded up to select Fields in the 2021 draft. One of the league's oldest teams, this franchise has just one Super Bowl championship on its ledger. Led by the electric Fields, they're on the verge of another. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. complete to his running back right side and he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven is that one officially a loss of one it looked like the defense they were ready for that one really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball he could throw every move in the book at him they were there and they tackle him for a loss A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Now it's Fields. And that is incomplete. That's a first third down try of the game. And clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. This is taken at the 23. And he is finally forced out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Well, that looked for a second like he might take it all the way, but as it stands, it's still a massive return. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. Leading him out is their quarterback, the former 12th overall pick. Some refer to him as the natural, Deshaun Watson. And we all know about the Browns' quarterback history. All the starters have been worked out in Cleveland since the franchise was brought back. Yet in only one season, Deshaun Watson, he's finally given his franchise a quarterback who could lead them to their first Super Bowl. Even by his standards, he's exceeded expectations since arriving in that trade with Houston. The 
Down, they'll run with Chubb. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. 26 yards for Nick Chubb. And the Browns are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for giving us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Five yards, now it's third and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw, Fields. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worked this long yet that ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass up? Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Here comes Grant on the return. take over first and 10 second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense they've got a 7 nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10 they start on the ground with Nick Chubb oh he's got some breathing room there he goes left side and Touchdown, Cleveland. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words has really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point by York is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken from about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. 
And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A read option. Here's Montgomery. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. On first down, it's Fields. Complete to Jones. Second and five. Now Fields. Now nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter, because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he is going to lose yardage here. Nine yards is the loss on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, as far as third down plays go, that's not going to be one where you say, hey, let's run that one back. No, I think right now the play caller, he's either circling that one or highlighting it or whatever to know not to call that one again. It's going to be a heck of a postmortem with the head coach to try and defend that one. Now here's Trenton Gill now. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Returnable for Grant. A great return there. Bobbin and weaving his way for 31 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Heading out is the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. A give running right is Chubb. And some space here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 94 yards rushing for him now in the opening quarter of this Super Bowl. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, say, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. They run again on first down, Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl.
Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Hardly any time taken off the clock there. Two plays, and they find the end zone for six points. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. A short kick taken at the 18. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 27. A play fake, now Fields to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Field's going to keep it once more. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taken right around the 44. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Well, after he punted that ball, he's probably frustrated that they had a sizable return against his punt, but he made amends by stepping up to make the tackle. Yeah, he made amends and probably covered a few of his teammates who didn't handle it very well because once the return breaks like that, you're thinking touchdown. And he prevented it with a nice play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Chubb running right. And some room to work. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And the Browns are starting to open things up here in this Super Bowl. Boy, CD, what a start for them. Still in the first quarter, they're absolutely blitzing them. All the points that they put up, I'm not sure what you say on the other sideline right now. I think it's as simple as this, partner. The way that they're playing, there's no limits on what this lead could become. Extra point by York is up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. So this not what we expected. 28-0 here in the first as another kickoff is away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now.
Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. run got a couple here second and eight off the option here's Montgomery and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair now they're staring at a third and eight that last play backwards a yard the running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half and I don't think it's all been his fault his offensive line hasn't given him much space a loss results there These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Fields. And that will be incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 39-yard punt, and good coverage means a loss on the return. And they will take over first and 10. For the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. <laughs> First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll get this up to about the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And off comes to Chubb. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. into double coverage and intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And the Bears are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they've had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 46. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. 
That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. But you got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Fields. Open man is... And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Browns. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. And Chubb will try the middle here. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Yeah, man, it's caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 36 yards on the play. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll run with Chubb. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. They'll try again with Chubb. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Nick Chubb taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. New York now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. So plenty of fireworks here early. 35 to nothing now as the kick is away. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On second and nine, Fields. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is incomplete. 
Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Miles Garrett now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. How about that part his second sack of the game and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here if he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely we might just list those out for him. One quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57. The Browns have the early lead. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. The Browns drive about to get started. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want a carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Man, 188 yards rushing for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Chubb. There's the stiff arm. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain. 16 yards there at a first down again. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. To throw is Watson. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper, 39 yards. And the Browns continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post -ball? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? The York on now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. A short kick taken at the 18. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. 
See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Fields now to throw. Over the middle. And it's a fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So really a nightmare of a first half for him, Charles. His second lost fumble already. And when they hand us a stat sheet, Brandon, and we see two lost fumbles, we usually think quarterback or running back, don't we? It's not often you see guys on the perimeter lose the ball like that. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. A give. This is Chubb. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 218 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down, they'll run with Hunt. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? To back good plays have them on the move on first down a run for Nick Chubb and he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line defensively a solid response after giving up back to back first downs second down here's Chubb again and he is into the end zone touchdown Cleveland. Nick Chubb, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Browns continue to pull away here in this first half. Well, I'll say one thing, Charles. You're getting really good practice here in breaking down touchdowns. What, what did you see there? Well, the same thing I've seen over and over and over in this first half. My scintillating analysis, Brandon, this offense is absolutely taking no prisoners. Extra point by York is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them. Get out there now and get some points on this drive. 
Miles Garrett able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy. Three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing the golden high tops as well. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Fields. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Take it from his own 44 here. turn there give him an even 20 yards and it will be first and 10 as they take over here comes the Browns offense back onto the field now everything right now that they touch on this side of the football it seems to turn to gold they've scored on three straight possessions that lead continues to grow and I mean if they can get points here Charles might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side I think you make a great case for that so I'm going to flip it over to the other side could they make the big comeback certainly am I expecting it not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. He stiff arms him. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. first and goal and then one play later he's in the end zone. Brandon what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call but they understood the situation understood the momentum. A nice hard charging run. Give it right back to him and let him cap things off. The York now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. New York ready and here we go as he sends this one away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Chicago offense set to get started. 
Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try to run wide side with Montgomery. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of seven. And it'll set him back for second down. No surprise there. Jadevi inclined with a tackle for loss. We all know how he became one of the most famous players in football, though, don't we? Remember? Oh, that one play. Yeah, that one big-time play. It was on highlights everywhere. They want to see more of that here in the NFL. Now, after the loss, he'll have to navigate a second and 17. To throw his fields. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. The Bears on third down. It has been a disaster. 0 for 8 thus far. This is third and 10. Back to throw. Fields. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Taken from just outside the 30. Shoves him away. A great blocking nearly sprung him there. 28-yard return. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. Cleveland geared up to take the field. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 31 yards there and a first down. That looked like a two-deep coverage, which we call cover two. And what that really means is you have corners, what we call rolled up in about a five-yard area on the outside receivers. Then your safeties are back closer to the hash marks near the middle of the field, somewhere around 10 to 12 yards back. So if you can break through the first level, You've got a chance to run before you encounter any type of resistance from the safeties. We saw the example of it right there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They run. Chubb. And 16 there. And that's going to bring up a second at about a mile here. Up the middle. It's Chubb. Trucks over him. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb. 27 yards, and the Browns have got it on cruise control. And partner, are you kidding me with this game that he's having? We are in uncharted waters like we've never seen before. Just think, if he keeps every football from all the touchdowns scored today, <laughs> does he need to build a new trophy room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
a couple trophy rooms. <laughs> Maybe a whole home for a trophy room. What a phenomenal performance, and I'll guarantee you, he's going to reward the rest of the offensive unit after this as well for helping him get to this number. He better. This is just unreal. Extra point by York is up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken from about the 12. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. Fields. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ballgame. I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. Take it at the 37. A solid stiff arm. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. Cleveland offense making their way out. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. A give running right is Chubb. And some room to maneuver. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb, 43 yards. And the Browns are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, what a first half he's had running the football. Another terrific run there, and this one finds the end zone. Well, we know he's a guy that's capable of coming up with big plays in the running game, and his offensive line knows it as well. That keeps them motivated, looking for those extra blocks to give him room to run downfield. The York on now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. 
another drive coming up for this Chicago offense. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complicated. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. New York now for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And able to get this out to the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Field throw there, complete to Mooney. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Out of the gun, Fields. Jones has it. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try to wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs and here a loss of yardage. Throwing on second and 14. Fields. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A shotgun snap. Fields. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett. My goodness. Make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. Here comes Grant on the return. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Excellent work on the run back there, 33 yards. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better 
And which side can step up and assert its will over the other. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field. And how about this, a fake? And this is caught. And the gamble pays off. They get the first. 17 yards on the fake punt, and that's going to be a first down. And I don't know what the method is to know when to dial up a fake punt, when not to, whatever the method there, it worked for them. I think you actually did explain it. There is no method. It's just a feel, a sense, and a healthy dose of guts in order to call that play in that situation. Element of surprise, I guess, right? Yeah, element of surprise and just a strong belief in, hey, we're going to get it done. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Watson looks to throw again. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Chicago. And this tells a story right here. As a unit, negative yards passing through two quarters of play. That is something you almost never see. Meanwhile, for the Browns, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Both teams with some extra time to prepare during this long halftime break, but we're about ready to restart the second half of Super Bowl 57. So let's get back out to Arizona and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. That kick return TD is 98 yards in length, and the Browns are pouring it on. Well, they're just having fun. I mean, they are clicking on every single cylinder, offense, defense, and here are special teams. And how about the extension of the lead? This one felt a lot like, remember Seattle, Denver, Super Bowl 48, Percy Harvin to start the second half. Seattle was already firmly in control. Now, they feel like they can't be caught. Yeah, they are firmly in control right now. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Taken from about the 12. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 27. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. 
agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after him. Now Fields. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Good work bringing that one back as he picks up about 16 on the return. The Browns offense trotting back on the field. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. Oh, he's got a little daylight. to the end zone, touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb, 61 yards, and the Browns just continue to roll. Well, I'm just not sure what more we can say about him after that one. But we're certainly going to give it a try, aren't we? Because I believe we're watching greatness personified. It has not mattered all game long where they've handed him the football. He's taken it and found the end zone. He is so locked into that so-called zone, I don't think they're going to get him out of it in this one. Extra point by York is up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Onto the field now come the Bears. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but... I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. A third down now, and those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett in there to get him again. That is sack number six. One off the NFL record of seven. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, they, don't, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Here comes the Bears punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Returnable for Grant. And he'll score. Touchdown, Browns. A 62-yard punt return. And the Browns get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, what a game for him. He hits for the return cycle, so to speak. He had the kick return. Now the harder part, just got the punt return for a touchdown. And I would imagine that the special teams coach, as the ball left the punter's foot, he was thinking, should have kicked away from him. Yeah. Should have kicked away from him. He's in a groove, and sometimes you hit those grooves or those zones in a game, and he's in one now. He's in perfect sync with his teammates blocking, and he knows how to find the end zone.
So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. The disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. The bottom line is, don't quit competing. On the move to his left. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Fields on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 28. to throw. Fields. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Miles Garrett in there for the seventh time in this game alone and that ties him with the late Derek Thomas for the most sacks ever in a single game. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Read option, here's Montgomery. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Only three yards on the pickup. They'll be left staring at a third and 14. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Third and long. It's Fields. Under pressure and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 50. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. We're down this big. We know that they need touchdowns instead of field goals, but now it's add insult to injury because they can't even get the three, Charles, on the excellent block there by the special teams. And it certainly felt to me like the special teams consider themselves an extension of the defense, which has played well for them. They have a nice cushion. They didn't want to allow any points, any opportunity to cut into their lead. A big-time play by those guys on that side of the ball. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Here's Watson. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Dominique Robinson showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things to where you showed that you would run the ball in long-distance situation, you might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. Oh, a solid stiff arm. It's an open field. And now off to the races down the right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb finding 
the end zone yet again. And the Browns take the block field goal and convert it into six points. Third down as a defender, all you're thinking about is getting off the field. How do you stop this last play? But if you don't wrap up when you tackle and you play it back like this, all of a sudden he's taking it to the house. And now you're looking at each other wondering, what did we do wrong on that play? The York on now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The drive there only spanning three plays. And Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. New York ready and here we go as he sends this one away. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Bears offense ready to get going again. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. From the 30 on second down, Fields. Now nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Out of the gun now on third down. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And take it right at the 35. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Well, they're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And, I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see games out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field, it does appear like they're done scoring points in this one. They look awfully confident. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Chubb running right. And they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Throwing on third down, Watson looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass. And they're going to try this again, it's another fake. And this is incomplete, a huge gamble, and it does not pay off. But that's one of those, Charles, when it works, it looks amazing, and when it doesn't, it means trouble. Yeah, you're right about that one, partner, because that allows us to say, what are you thinking when it doesn't work? Although, I know in his mind when he made the call, he was thinking about the amazing part. But in this case, I think the defense, they caught on this fairly quickly, and they were able to force the incomplete pass. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease.
pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Fields, and he finds Montgomery complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I like the thinking there because right after a sack, it can be a great time to call for a screen to your running back and use the eagerness of the defense against them. Able to gain some positive yards out of this one and make things a little bit easier for him on third down. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. And that flag's on Miles Garrett, and we know he's got a nose for getting after the quarterback, but that time, even though he's going to protest it a little bit, he's a step late, and they hit him with the penalty. Field's going to keep it once more. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Back to throw. Fields. Completion here to Claypool. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a throw to the end zone on the first down, but it winds up incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. I thought that was a completed pass until he came in and forced the ball from his hands. Not only did he make a nice play, he brings up fourth down. Santos kick is up and through and they'll get back three but this remains a large deficit so this time the protection holds up for him just fine and he's able to bang it through I think their special teams coach got the point across he gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier and this time there's no penetration so they're able to pick up three taken in at the three the lane opens here he's past the 30 and good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Browns set and ready to go on offense. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They begin this drive with Chubb. And for one of the first times all night, he is going to go nowhere as they bury him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. He's going to sling this deep downfield. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Browns. Kareem Hunt, 69 yards. And the Browns extend their lead yet again. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. York now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. 
The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20, and up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker time on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a loss of three. And now a much tougher third down looming. A tall task ahead of him here. Needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now Fields. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Just one more quarter remains in the season-long race for the Lombardi Trophy here in Super Bowl 57 from Glendale. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff. The fourth and final quarter. Taking on the midfield logo. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of field. And off comes to Chubb. And he's got room. Shoves him aside. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb. He flat out can't be stopped. And the Browns continue to pull it on here in the fourth. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. The York on now for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. For the Bears offense out there set and ready to go. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Now it's Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout that's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Part of my vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points, an absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. He'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Well, I wish his staff luck as they try to find positives about this performance by their offense as we move through the early part of the fourth quarter. That sack, the latest example. Down by a boatload, this offense simply can't keep up, and the quarterback is still taking hits. I'd get the backups in there if it were me. Here comes the Bears punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And taken at the 46. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. This offense comes back out onto the field and they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines but they know that they are very close now to wrapping this thing up and letting the celebration begin a Super Bowl title within reach now as they try to polish this thing off they'll start out here with the option left Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And he'll take it into the end zone for Brown's touchdown. Nick Chubb finding the end zone yet again. And the Browns have got it on cruise control. Well, it has been the passing game that's really been responsible for much of the scoring so far. But let's not forget about this running attack. They're pretty good, too, as evidence right there. And I think, Brandon, the fact that they've thrown the ball so well contributed to that touchdown because that was a defense that was really keyed up to cover those receivers. All they wanted to do was blanket them. They didn't have enough men in the box to stop the run, and you saw the end result. Extra point by York is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Chicago offense set to get started. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. And that NFC crown that they got two weeks ago seems like a distant memory as they have been outplayed tonight. On first down, it's Fields. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Well, it's an old chestnut, but let's face it, offensively, they've got to have some pride here because this has been a worst-case scenario all game for them. Keep putting in the effort. Keep trying to keep your quarterback upright and get through the end of this one as quickly as possible. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. 
Fields. And that's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Fields. And nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Miles Garrett drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. And you could say that is just another cherry on top for this defense and that entire team. But really, this defense has sparked what's been an impressive effort here in this one. And I noticed you used the word sparked because you're not seeing that on the other side of the ball, are you? The offense right now, the spark has left their game, and it's been because of what you described, that defensive pressure. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. We'll call that a 41-yard punt. The net a little greater, though, following a loss on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And the Browns getting set to go. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Chubb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from walking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Four yards, the pickup, first down. They go up the middle with Chubb. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. the carry it's Chubb nine yards not quite enough and they'll be left now with third and one a lot to praise on this drive obviously I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing those guys up front they're getting it done doesn't matter what play is called they are handling their business in the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive on third down it's Nick Chubb and he is into the end zone touchdown Cleveland Nick Chubb, he flat out can't be stopped. And the Browns are pouring it on. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yarding situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roam, and he found it. New York now for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. That time a six play drive and Nick Chubb the one to finish it off as he does so with a touchdown run. New York ready and here we go as he sends this one away. 
A short kick taken at the 18. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Off of play action, it's Watson. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now in punt formation, but as we've seen... And look at this! Another fake! And this is incomplete! A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Fields hit, and the ball is loose. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Cleveland offense making. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On second and 15 now, Fields. And pressure gets to him again. 
The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. So, Brandon, we've sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. They'll drop the throw. Being chased out left. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. Well, CD, we are witnessing something that I never thought that I would witness. I would imagine you never thought this, too. I mean, we, we have a team taking the field in an NFL game, and they are by triple digits. I mean, 50 is a lot, but to get to over 100, this is just crazy. We've seen in the history of the game of basketball a few people score 100 points individually, men and women. But we've never seen this before in NFL history. We've only seen two teams combine for 100 points in a game five times in league history. One of the greatest games ever played, well, by one of the teams anyway. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Watson. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Browns on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. Here it's third and two. Here's Watson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Up huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. And they're going to try this again. It's another fake. And this is caught. Gamble pays off. They get the first. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. And I don't know what the method is to know when to dial up a fake punt, when not to, whatever the method there, it worked for. I think you actually did explain it. There is no method. <laughs> it's just a feel, a sense, and a healthy dose of guts in order to call that play in that situation. Element of surprise, I guess, right? Yeah, element of surprise and just a strong belief that, hey, we're going to get it done. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw is Watson. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make the play himself as we just saw there that's a big day and he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion Brandon every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves you're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about to run them into submission. Uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And again, it's Chubb. And they're going to score again. Yet another 
touchdown as they just add to their totals. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. The York on now for the extra point. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And he will not make it to the goal line. It's his try for two is going to come up empty. But that's little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long. ready and here we go as he sends this one away pulls it in at the 13 and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 the Chicago offense set to get started and Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Jordan Elliott able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Talk about two sides of the ball and cross purposes because mercifully this game's almost over for the offense, but the defense, they still want to get a few shots in. That front seven, they've loved this ball game. They've been able to pad their stats, and maybe some backups can get in and get a sack as well. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. On second and 12, Fields. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Miles Garrett, he's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here, back-to-back -back sacks. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Here's Fields. And that is incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Taken right around the 44. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Browns have a short field in front of them now as they take over first and 10. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Fights through, and now a crease. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 
A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them <laughs> next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A give. This is Chubb. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. the middle hunt and here he'll get it down to the seven the six yards on the pickup and it leaves him with a first and goal yeah once more strong running excellent blocking at the point of attack they've got a nice little drive brewing right here well they probably don't need to run a play here but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal they'll run with chubb and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. And how about this? The dog pound gets the crowd. The Cleveland Browns are the Super Bowl champs. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team. You'll see their picture. That Your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. around with my crew just chilling I'm wearing Dude, black and white but I ain't no villain when all of a sudden I get this rumbling feeling it's my stomach it's telling me I need to be grilling some hamburgers you know that big fat and juicy the ones that be having you licking your lips profusely and when you take a bite you no longer feel down cause with that taste of perfection in your mouth you can't frown life's so good when you're eating a burger it's so unhealthy it's like artery murder but you don't even care cause it tastes so good it's like hamburger 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 yum Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Big Mac Whopper. Big Mac.